So we're in the southern part of Central Park. Uh, we can see the buildings along Central Park South, sticking up over these beautiful trees. And coming down a pathway, we're heading towards the carousel, which is one of my favorite places in the world. Uh, it's nice to see the trees in bloom around it besides. This carousel has been here for, well, in one version or another, about 120 years. This particular group of horses have been here since 1950 or 51. There was a fire that took out the, the group before it. They come from Coney Island. They're all hand carved wow. and they have both jumpers and the ones that don't jump. The ones that are static, there's a couple of chariots. This adjoins uh, the ball fields. There's three ball fields right there where softball is played. And uh, when I was a youngin, about four years old, uh, my father, who's an actor, was in the Broadway Show League. And he was doing a play called Leave It to Jane. And even though it was off-Broadway, they needed teams. So all of the people in Leave It to Jane played on that field every Saturday and Sunday. And I was loaned out as a four-year-old to other actors who were too embarrassed to go on the carousel. They need to have a kid with them <laughs> so that they could feel like, oh, yes, I can stand on the carousel because I've got this kid. And I was the rent-out kid. And I grew just to love this carousel. We'd go around and I'd go on it like a dozen times. And Aww. it was a wonderful place to be. It, it looks like it's open and running. It's, they don't have many customers, but they run it from time to time. It has the strangest organy festival music this plays into the book big time. See these horses, all hand-painted, all carved wood. There used to be, not in this version, but before 1950, a, a grab the brass ring. There was an actual box towards the back that you could lean out if you're on an outside jumper, and if you timed it right, you'd get the brass ring and you'd get to keep it. Unfortunately, kids kept falling off, and this turned out badly, so they discontinued it in 1951 when they put this version in. It's, it's fun. I see why it was fun. And, yeah. and it, you know, fun things are always a little dangerous, but I guess... That's, now there's a line. Can I use that? <laughs> that's, that's, really, that's really good. Anything worth doing is yeah. really dangerous. My favorite horse, by the way, is the one that has this tiger on the back of it or cougar. Yeah, the saddle is, is like some animal. Yeah. 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 I always liked the red gear. When I was a kid, Linda, anything that had the red, I was like, yeah. Aww. And I always sat outside so I could, like, feel the speed. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know what that says, but I, it was so exciting. I was like six. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> I could do it. Actually, I was reading something that, that said that um, the merry-go-round and like the carousel, anything where like you got dizzy yeah. is your first experience as a kid at changing consciousness. I like that it's very kinda, much. It's kind of your first drug in a way. I like that very <laughs> much. Well, I love this place. It must be it. <laughs> and I still like champagne, so maybe that's where that started. <laughs> I, I guess I'm not a writer, but I don't know how you... The, the weaving of a mystery novel is so intricate and keep and knowing when to reveal it's 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 just magical how it happens and well i think it's brilliant and i can't wait until it turns into a movie oh that's a good thought <laughs> that's a good thought we'll hold that thought i like we'll, that we'll be back here with director connell <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> actually you know now that we're bringing that up and you've kind of mentioned it a little bit but how do you think your work as a director shaped how you work as a writer? Well, I think that what I write really is unique to me in so far as everything is very cinematographic. You, you see the scene, you feel the scene, and it goes from scene to scene like a movie. It's meant to. And my stuff is also, which I really like, is character-driven. What mm -hmm. I'm trying to do is focus on characters and give them their voice and be really honest about it. Never have a character do something because it's a good plot point. They have to mm. do something because it fits the character. Yeah. And that's from working with actors and watching them not be happy if that wasn't the case. And when that did happen, everything is better. I loved uh, reading these books and being in New York City. And that's also why we're here. It, feeling like I was going to run into them, you know, Thanks. along the street. I, I'm not such an experienced mystery reader. Though once I kind of understood how much I liked it, and then I realized actually every good story is kind of a mystery. You know, it's just good storytelling. So, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.